Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Throwback Thursday, and you know what that means. Old stuff. Thanks for tuning in to the second half of my opening day double header. In the first half, I broke a blaster of Topps opening day and pulled this nice blue foil Altuve. As you've heard me mention, the foil in this year's top sets really, really pops. I like it a lot. A few games are already in the books, with a lot of guys starting the season off on the right foot with big homers, including this guy. The force is strong with this one. Monster shot to dead center field for Voigt, putting the Yankees on top. Really fun game to watch. My guy! Miguel, and do you believe in miracles? Almost had two homers today. One, a grand slam that he only missed by a foot or two. Still had two RBIs and a single. I won't talk about the error he got on a really tough play that Bird could have had. But the Yanks win, and they look really, really good. Okay, on to the old stuff. It is so awesomely appropriate that we finish up our Cracker Jack journey on opening day. Today's two stops in the Wayback Machine are 1993 and 1983. The last two weeks, we've looked at Cracker Jack prize minis from 91 Tops and 92 Don Russ. And today, we look at the 93 prizes, which were throwbacks to the original Cracker Jack cards featuring all classic old-timey players. Let's check them out. First up, Shoeless Joe. We are uh, in an anniversary of sorts uh, of the Black Sox scandal. It was, uh, you know, would have been 2018, but we're still pretty close. Eddie Plank. These are really, really cool. Um, it would have been neat if Cracker Jack would have done this uh, more often, I think. Uh, but I really like those 91 tops. They were really cool. Is that Walter Johnson? Well, yep. Connie Mack, the old uh, commissioner. I guess he was the manager of the American League, is how they phrase it in that. Christy Mathewson. Not a lot of landscape cards, but here's one. Markward, the Brooklyn Federals. Uh, Zachary Wheat. I did, turned out, uh, you know, I had a nice stack of these, which is pretty cool. Chris Speaker. Grover Cleveland Alexander. Miller Huggins. Ed Walsh. So is that John Evers? I always wanted to say Chance, but I don't know. Very nice. And closing it out with a member of the inaugural class of the Hall of Fame, Ty Cobb. Really cool, and it's card number one of the 24 card set. And I wonder, I didn't really check. I wonder if I had uh, all 24 cards. I don't think so, but clearly there wasn't 24 in this stack, but who knows, maybe floating around somewhere I had more. Okay, on to our next stop, 1983. Gonna rip this rack pack of 1983 tops. This rack pack, as you can see, is worn because it's older than most guys who are playing today. Wrap your head around that. Now, as we uh, get into it, reminder, check the description below for the link to the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship. Pledges of $25 or more get you curated spoils packs of awesome cards you've seen pulled on the channel. So if you see something you like, just drop me a line. Send me an email. My email is located in the About tab on the channel homepage. We'll talk about it and uh, get you a nice curated spoils pack. All pledges are welcome, but 25 or more gets you the goodies. Very nice. They appear to be pretty good shape, even though the rack pack itself looked pretty banged up. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's get right into it here. Let's start with this one. A little shout out to Gary Siegel, Phillies. Of course, we are hoping to pull a Ryan Sandberg or a Wade Boggs or a Tony Gwynn. 
Haven't pulled one of those yet, but uh, the last couple weeks of rack packs have yielded really nice results, some really nice stuff. I can see the corners of these are really banged up, and they are stuck together, something fierce. Mickey Hatcher. Rock! Oh, man, look at the... It's like oil or something from the gum. Now, usually they have not stuck together like this, so that's interesting. Maybe that's just part of that rack pack looking so tattered. Might have been sitting in the sun or something. Nice Ted McGraw. That one's in pretty good shape. Let's see if we can... There we go. Glenn Brumner. So not uh, not a great first pack, not terrible. A little Hall of Famer Rock Reigns action is pretty good. Hope everyone is enjoying their opening day. Maybe uh, if you are out there getting yourself some peanuts and Cracker Jacks, leave a comment and let me know if you were lucky enough to attend an opening day game. Really, so man, it's like maybe it got wet. I wonder if that's why, because this well, or the gum just really, really bled through on this particular rack pack. Haven't had that problem before though, but this one's definitely a little rough. Not a great one. All right, last rack. Let's hope for something good. I've been enjoying watching a few videos today while baseball has been on. Saw Like a Hawk's Gypsy Queen break. I'll have some of that coming up on the channel. It's a really, really sharp looking product this year. I'll talk more about it when I actually get some of it. Uh, it's on the way. Local stores haven't had them yet, so I ordered it. Sosh! It's a cool Soch card. All right, last couple here. Again, stuck together really badly. Oh, but I guess we're not in any jeopardy of pulling the cards we wanted, so it's okay. Boy, that is tore up. Look at that. These cards did not hold their shape as well as some of the young guys playing today. That's a real shame, too. Got a nice yount there and Vukovic. But just beat to hell these cards. Oh, man, I'd like to see the Pirates get that again. That would be a cool hat to see. Well, not a great rack pack today on opening day. But we still had fun. Pulled a Rock Reigns. Had that nice Altuve. Good times. Set that baby up right there. Pretty good, pretty good. Of course, like I said, can be yours. Uh, just reach out to me if they're uh, the cards that you might want in your personal collection. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Appreciate you tuning in. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.